Hello, I'm Mark to another episode of Dick Small Engines. Now, in this episode, we're going to have a quick look at how I set the meter lever on a two stroke uh, Warburg carb. So, let's have a butcher's. Right, so here's our Warburg carb in question. We've got the spring and a meter lever and um, needle in situ. Now, what what I've always done in the past uh, is your meter and lever here should always sit flush with the top area, I'm not sure how you can see that, of the car here. Now, if it doesn't, it either won't run well at all, despite how well you've cleaned the, the carb unit, or it, it, it won't run full stop. Now, I have just purchased a Walbro meter and lever gauge. Now, what you do is you find stamped up on your carb unit. Uh, let me find it. Where is it? There should be a, a couple of letters. I think this one is WT. I'm just going to find it. Yeah, there it is. Somewhere around here, where my index finger is, there's a WT. So that is the stamp you're looking for on this particular unit. WT. Now all you do is you get your... Meter and lever gauge. You can pick these up off eBay. There'll be a link somewhere around here now. Look for the WT, which is there. Set it on your carb, like so, there. And that gauge, that meter and lever now, should sit the WT there, center of the unit. Also, should sit flush on your meter and lever. WT is there as I've highlighted and um, should sit flush. Now, if it doesn't, get yourself a pick, or in my case, I've pinched my missus's. They look like eyebrow pluckers, not sure what they are, but then you will get your meter and lever. Hold on the needle and manipulate it up, up slightly, which I'm going to have to do in this case, but like so, just to manipulate it up slightly, or for example, if it needs to drop down a bit, if it's raised too high, you will adjust accordingly. With whatever tool, I mean, you could use a pick, you could use whatever. I'm using, like I say, I'm using these um, tweezers. Get your gauge, sit it flush on the out of the unit, and you can see here. I'm not sure how you can see that that meter and lever now is sitting. On the WT because it's a WT Walbro carb flush on the gauge, so that way we now know that our meter and lever is set on this unit. Prior to using these, this gauge, like I say, I just gauge your bar. I'm sure most of you do. Um, the gauge just gives you that peace of mind that your meter and lever is set because obviously the meter and lever, when the needle um, on the diaphragm, uh, I'll show you the diaphragm. Also, this is a, this is the old diaphragm, but that sort of protruding bit from the diaphragm will sit in your in the sort of uh, groove piece of your lever, and then that 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 will then pulsate. Uh, from your, um, let me get your word, 
was happy. The need, the needle will then, as it as it's pulsating off of that uh, diaphragm, draw fuel into your carb. So your carb will run right because if that's not set right, like I say, your um, your machine won't won't run or run poorly. So very quick video. Well worth investment. Zammer also, obviously this won't work for a Zammer carb. Zammer also do similar gauges. Um, I haven't got one, but um, I will be investing in one. Meter lever gauge, cheap and cheerful. Set your carbs right. Help set your carbs right, sorry. Um, so your two stroke unit will run right. If you like this little episode of Dick Small Engines, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Take care for now. Turn out.